I'm Monte Cristo. Joining me is Barry. He's back once again. Of course, we are waiting for Papa Smithy to get his visa processed, which is why Barry has graciously stepped in. I'm going to have a lot of fun today. Yes, good we, games today. We, we are going to have such a good time today. My favorite thing about the Rexai skin is the little tugboat he rides when the he goes. The jet ski. It's not is a it, tugboat. It looks like a tugboat to me. I don't know. <laughs> it makes a tugboat sound. Have you ever seen a tugboat? No. And it just said, well, today looks like a good angle for chicken. <laughs> and I think that was his uh, gamer tag, Crazy Boy or something like that. That's what I could decipher from that one, Monte Cristo. It is a good day for chicken. I want some chicken right now, actually. Well, you can't eat while you cast, Barry. That's one of the first and primary rules of being a caster. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Carol Convergence comes in. Not going to hit anybody. Ambition gets jumped on with a phase dive. Mad Life just going to disengage with uh -huh. a headbutt. they got a long way to go. Oh, Someday go. gets in with the oh! one. Huge Gnarled into the wall. There's the equalizer, but it's going to only mitigate the damage that's already done. Someday coming up with a big hop flash play. Someday is on a secret mission through the enemy jungle. Well, I think Madlife is on to him. He's going to have to kill himself. Oh. oh! Smart man. And he's got TP. If he can bait Madlife into... Oh, there's a void rush. <laughs> there's the jet ski. He, he's just going to die. Okay. Whoa. Are they going to go for a Baron in response, though? Well, Someday's wasting so much time right now. He's got two people down there. He's going to turn into Meganar. That's even more time. And there's the TP. There's no more crowd control. Goodbye. Oh. There's the headbutt. There's the Gnar. He dies. They, uh, they're not going to be able to actually do it. Yep, and mid lane's going to be cleared out. Oh, nope. He misses that wave. <laughs> and we're going to look at some stats now. Carry rating for the supports. Assist per game is the statistic that they like to use for that. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that statistic for supports, but yeah. I'm not in charge of screen overlays, Barry. <laughs> if I was, all of them would just say Monte Cristo is great on oh. the lower third okay. all the time. Well, you do have quite the ego. That's why you have a separate Twitter account just for it. <laughs> it's not my Twitter account, Barry. Oh, that's what that's what everyone that's what we want people to think. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't right take now. it. They have a machine. No yep. problem. Oh, oh, Ambition dear. gets hooked and boxed into the side. Score doesn't want to finish off that kill yet, though. They're trying to prevent the flank. Helper's oh, about man. to turn into Meganar, but how much will it help? Arrow gets stunned at the back, but he's under the Azir turret, and there's Shenold. the Shenold. He it does die, but Nagde is Ooh. full HP. They committed so much that that is a triple for Nagne, and quadra. that is a quadra. Is Nagne going to get the penta? Oh, He's coming someday. in, they want it. What? 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 No! Quadra penta kill. kill! And there it is, going back to the turret for the worst penta kill camera work <laughs> that I've ever seen. It was so easy, all you had to do was focus on Nagne. Someday oh, does no. land. Got that MVP in the first, or the second game, I should say, the first KT win, and oh! Oh, surprise. Hydra face. <laughs> Not take it to six items where one mistake will absolutely shatter them. Yeah, that's just been, as you said, Jyn Air's problems this whole season while GBM leaning back, taking a peek at the camera. And you know, Barry, what I'm really hoping Jyn Air does is here we go. Trace gets locked up by Marin. Bengi tries to come through. Equalizer goes down. That's not going to be enough. And Trace oh. scrap shields his way up, barely! Here comes Missing Lee Sin. on the smash. Lee Sin coming on through right now. I'm not sure he can 2v1 this, though. There's the Q. There can he, he get in? He's going to try and keep on moving. There's the ward off. Kick in. Doesn't hit Bengi. Nice try, though. He got there him. it is. And oh. no, he does not. Oh! Ho -ho. Bengi's coming in to shore up this mid lane. And yeah, decent amount of damage on it. Oh. oh. He's got him. Oh, does he have him? And yeah. yes, he does. GBM comes through, and that's what we've come to expect from his Zareth play. He is very accurate with those skill shots, and he's very tricky about how he uses them. Oh, Trace has the flash. No equalizer. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Trace. Bye-bye. Well, he stopped the Baron, at least. That was worth. It's true. Yep. Man, you get on my case for saying more worth, and you say that was worth. Yeah, because more worth is not actually an expression. Uh huh. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> a worth it. Let's okay. put it that way. There we go. Worth it. And now we're gonna see the coaches entering the booth. Pachani 
for Rebels Anarchy with his notebook that has a weird like it's like a food thing <laughs> and it's like it's like tajida it's just like some like seasoning like meat seasoning for like soups and stuff like that yeah it's weird i don't know why he has no books <laughs> they're showing it right now i think they're trying to show it there we go oh instead of tajida saying tajipa so it's like a play on that so it's like look at it again instead of the name of the actual seasoning the koreans love their puns yeah they do <laughs> freak should have been born korean i think maybe and Okia, look at his fearless, just walking straight up, even in the face of the Annie stud. Just going to go ahead and spell shield. Oh, God. Oh! oh. Well, decapitated. Yep. And now Goon's going to try and kite it back, but pure with the flash slicing Maelstrom combined with the second Q auto, it looked like, from Goon. And Duke <laughs> he just waltzes walks in. Walks under the tower for the kill. <laughs> well, you know you're ahead when you can do that. Yep. Game, so he really has nowhere to go. Duke is going to be stabbing the fat man until the fat man goes down. Oh, man. It's almost like Duke doesn't like fat people. Well, it's okay to talk about, you know, that in Korea. <laughs> actually, you know, <laughs> that's, that's actually one of the cultural things here. I mean, we were looking at the interview with Wolf last night, and he yeah, was he saying was like, that he needed to go on a diet and stuff. It's not really a taboo subject. Not a taboo su Well, it is taboo to say straight to someone's face that they're fat. It's actually true. It is a taboo to say that. But it is, like, not taboo to, like, shame people for being fat. So It's very interesting to me. It's, it's very, very odd. I mean, even my parents, like, kind of say, like, you know, like, oh, you need to lose weight, Barry, because you're gaining, you're gaining weight, and you know, if you're fat, you look dumb and blah blah. And I was like, <laughs> that is exactly what my parents said. So, I think you, I don't think you look dumb, Barry. Oh man, I think you look very smart. Oh, thank you for calling me fat, though. In the process, <laughs> Monte Cristo just pushing all my buttons. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the old implication insult. Yep. It's one of our favorites. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about the subtlety, Barry. You yeah, know? trying a, to see if, like, see if someone see can if, pick see it up. See if they actually know, if they understand It's a great way to on. test how, if your uh, conversation <laughs> partner is like thinking about what they're saying and thinking of what, uh, just like analyzing the conversation, too. They could win the fight, but I don't think Najin was going to actually go in there. Well, they see recalls going out of Rebels Anarchy. I mean, if they, if they recall... Naja oh can just do God. the Baron. What? Naja's gonna, <laughs> what is this game, Barry? What is this game? Free oh, Baron. Free Baron oh for Najin. Anarchy mass recalls. On awards. Oh, let, oh my lord. <laughs> Trundle will kill him eventually. Yeah, and especially with that knock up in his pillar, too. Yeah. You know, it's with that skin, it's less of a pillar and more of a trophy. It is. It's a big trophy. I, love I am's never actually seen one, but. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Shots fired, Monte Cristo. Um, you know, how does a trophy slow stuff around it? Is it just the glory of the trophy? They're just stopping by to they're admire stunned, it? They're stunned by its prestige. By its prestige. Oh, well. Which long as I am, we'll never know. <laughs> but you know what was so depressing about Harry Potter? What? Is that. They had, there was a chance to actually make Voldemort like a real uh, person. We've had the discussion before, yeah. And instead he's like some sort of cartoon villain that was like evil from birth. I'm like, yep. you had a chance to make an actually interesting character, a nuanced character. Anyway, that's why I hate that series because the entire <laughs> thing boils down to like Harry Potter fighting a piece of cardboard with like <laughs> a spooky grin painted on his face. It's terrible. With a Without a nose. Yeah. So it's essentially fighting Michael Jackson, I feel like. <laughs> oh, wait, was that too far? Was that too soon? No, it's not. It's okay, fine. Okay, good. Uh, I, uh, I actually think that the Philip Pullman, his Dark Materials trilogy, are like mm. a million times better than Harry Potter, but that's just me. Yep, I love that series myself. You know, favorite book out of that was probably, I would say probably the last book was probably the best. Yeah, that, that movie was terrible, though. That movie was god-awful. <laughs> you know, I was so excited when I saw Daniel Craig as, oh, like... I know, right? I was like, Daniel Craig is, like, the father, and then you have, like, what was it Nicole Kidman yeah, it as the mother? Cast. Great cast. Oh, man, that was, a, that was actually a huge spoiler. Oh, my. <laughs> Why did I just do that? <laughs> Mary, oh, my Lord. Mary, stop it. Stop it, Mary. I just realized it as I said it. Oh, my Lord.
All right, we're done with that. We can't talk about fiction any longer, otherwise Barry will spoil it. No, 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 no. I'm going to give out one more spoiler. They kill God in the end. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Barry. All right. Well. All right, here we're going to go on to Expression. There's the Sivir Ultimate going to dodge the Boomerang Blade with the pool. Expression going to flash over the wall. Takes an extra turret hit, though. Um, he just stops. He knows he's dead. <laughs> Fun matches tonight. Thank you so much for casting with me, Barry. <laughs> it's been great. This is your last cast. Will you have anything you want to say? Well, it's been an honor to actually be, get to be on camera. Say, you know, share as much as, you know, I can about League of Legends. Just share the dank memes as well. So I had a right. lot of fun. Follow you on Twitter, Korean Natal Vice. That's right. Do Hopefully it. Papa Smithy's visa issue will, visa issues have been resolved without a hitch. Yeah, should be. Should be okra all right for next weekend, guys. Thank you for joining us once again, and thank you to Barry for his emergency casting. He's been wonderful, showing the love on Twitter. All right, guys, have a good night. <laughs>